For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone. As we preview the 2014 ACU Wildcat football season, we're going to start with the defensive side of the football. We've got the defensive coordinator, Darian Doolin, and we've got senior from San Antonio, Angel Lopez. Angel, let's start with you. Last year, 109 tackles. That ranks near the top 10 all time at ACU. As you move toward your senior season, uh, in on field and off field, what are your goals? Uh, definitely have a winning season. Uh, you know, bringing these young guys up. Uh, for me personally, I would love to get into dental school. I uh, applied recently this summer, and I would love to beat 109 tackles and maybe get some more interceptions this year and more forced fumbles and a couple sacks. So 110 is my goal this year, definitely. Fix the guy's teeth yes. whom, who's you, whom you knock out, right, in the game. Correct, yes. Okay, that, that, that's, that's the least you could do, I guess. Um, last season, this defense uh, under Coach Doolin uh, had w really what ranked as one of the top 50 defenses in terms of scoring, allowing 25 points per game. Uh, and you bring back a lot of guys. What do you see as your role on this team, um, not just in terms of making tackles? Uh, I think I'm a leader, and I think I need to be a leader for these young guys because, you know, our, our starting uh, four back there in the DBs, they're all – they're all returners, and when they leave, they're, they're going to have to see a leader step up, and I want them to see me so they can carry the young guys when I'm gone. So I want them to see how we play, how we mentally dominate, how we physically dominate, the preparation that goes into our, our, our game plan, and, and just see us fly around with just reckless abandon out there. All so right, let's talk to your defensive coordinator here, Darian Doolin, about to start your third season, Coach. Um, you do bring back a loaded bunch as opposed to offense. You've got a lot of guys back whose names you already know, don't you? Yes, we do. We've got a lot of guys that played a lot of ball for us last year, played a lot of snaps, and really feel like we, they know what they're doing. They're comfortable now. A lot of these guys have been there with us all three years since I've been here, so they really know where to line up, what the calls are, what the checks are. Sometimes they're kind of like my extra eyes and ears on the field brain. They, they know what I'm thinking, too, before I can even make calls sometimes. Well, you've got some guys like Nick Richardson, like Angel Lopez, both up front and then on the back end. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your linebackers. You'll bring back some guys there as well. But tell me about Justin Stevens. I know he's going to play. We just don't know exactly when, right? Right, right. yeah. Justin's coming off another in knee injury, knee surgery. Uh, we're hoping to get him back probably the second game more realistically. Um, right now he's moving pretty fast, though, and, and his progress in rehab and all that. So we may see him a little bit that first game, but probably more likely Northern Arizona is when we're going to get him back. All right. Let's talk a little bit about some new faces because for all the guys you've brought back, this is the way college football goes. It, really, at every level, you constantly have to replenish. So give us a sneak preview of some of the names I'll be calling on the radio this year. You know, we really did a good job, I think, recruiting defensive linemen. We've got some good young defensive linemen, guys like LaMarcus Allen from Prosper, Texas, Trayvon Moore, both big inside guys, over 300-pounders. Trayvon's from uh, uh, John Tyler out there. We've got a guy named A.J. Tolbert. A lot of Texas people remember Dallas. Uh, Tony Tolbert played for Dallas. His playing DN for us. AJ's really been a, a pleasant surprise for us this this uh, through camp. Uh, we've also got some young linebackers. Uh, Sam Denmark uh, out of New Mexico is really doing a nice job for us. Uh, Miles Salisbury and then Bryson Gates is another guy that's really been doing good. Then uh, at corner we've got Terry Osborne as a freshman from John Tyler. Uh, can play corner, can play safety, return kicks. Does a lot of things for us. Last year, your defense was one of the top 10 in all of FCS football in turnover margin. You guys took the ball away 28 times. Uh, the competition this year gets a lot tougher. Uh, as you look toward this season, uh, do you think you can still take the ball away even though the competition goes uh, to another level? You know, we're still going to try. Uh, you know, there's going to be better teams. The guys are a little bit more conscious about turning the ball over. But we feel like that's the only way we've got to be able to help our offense, give our offense more opportunities. So we concentrate on every day. We do ball disruption drills every day, and it's a, a big factor. We're trying to get attempts at the ball. We call them taking shots on goals. We want to get some shots on goals, get the ball out. So, you know, hopefully we can do the same thing, if not better than what we did last year. I think our, our guys understand it a little bit better now, the techniques that they need to use. So I think we got a chance to, to maybe repeat this what we did last year. How about a word about your guy, Angel Lopez, here, what he means to you on and off the field? Uh, he's, he's definitely the soul, heart and soul of our defense. You know, uh, made a lot of plays for us last year, been kind of a stable guy for us, gets guys lined up, knows what to do, and then plays hard, you know, and I think plays special teams, all that stuff. So can't say enough about Angel. He's, he's the key to our defense right now. All right. And that defense will get its first test August 27th on a national stage when ACU takes on Georgia State at the Georgia Dome on ESPNU. For Coach Darian Doolin and for Senior Angel Lopez, I'm Grant Boone for ACUSports.com. Our preview of the Wildcat 2014 season continues later this week.